Well, hello. My name is Kevin, and this is the go-kart I made in high school a number of years ago, and it is by far the most popular go-kart I make videos of. Um, right now I just want to give you a closer look at the cart, how it's put together, and why it's built the way it is. And hopefully if you are planning on building a cart, this will give you some, um, some good ideas. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment, because I probably won't go over every little detail. Please enjoy. A question that I get a lot is, did I build the frame myself, or did I buy it? And the answer is, I built it myself in grade 12. I've taken my seat out, just so you can see the seat itself a little bit better. It's uh, just an old racing cart seat I got from a friend who had a new one and just was going to junk this. And over here, we got on the frame, they're just very simple mounts. Um, just some round tubing that I've pressed on the ends with a hydraulic press and bent. Next we'll go through the steering wheel assembly. I have just a regular steering wheel from Princess Auto. That's where I get most of my stuff from. It's extremely cheap, but I'm afraid that for my American viewers, I don't think you guys have one. So I also get stuff from Costco. Now I put my steering wheel on, I have a clip here. Originally I couldn't get in and out of the go-kart without taking off the steering wheel. So that's why I have that on. Um, it's very ugly setup. I just sat in the go-kart seat on the floor and tilted the steering wheel to the angle I wanted and welded it in place. We have the just a simple assembly here, connecting the rods. And once again, here's the front wheel assembly. Nothing spectacular. My voice sounds a little funny. It's because I'm talking right into my bumper. So everything I have, like these steering arms, they're off of old, old vehicles. Uh, next up we have the old, my old brake assembly. You just have a normal Princess Auto $3 pedal. Probably wasn't even that, it's probably $3 for both of them. <laughs> to an ugly rod. And that pushes in there. And here is my dirt bike caliper. I uh, machined the disc on my own. That wasn't too hard. I also get lots of questions about that. This is just a normal snowmobile, old snowmobile suspension system. You've got the springs. And This is my very fancy gas pedal. My ow, I just hit my elbow. Just from Princess Auto, two dollars. No, it was probably one dollar, I'm guessing. Just for the cable. Just runs all randomly. Out. And Underneath, pivots here. Very simple. What kind of engine do you have on it? And simply, it's a 6.5 horsepower Champion motor. I've had this motor since 2007, I think. So it's six years old and still working fine. Just from the back here, the how I mounted the engine. It's just bolted onto a couple of pieces of channel iron that I welded to the frame. Right here, it's just an add-on. That ugly chunk of steel. 
just so I could put extend the frame with the roll cage on. The question I asked myself when I first started driving this was, what happens if I roll over? So I designed a roll cage. It's very simple. I've always liked the kind of sprint car look. After a while, after rolling it a few times and using my neck pretty much to keep my, my body into the seat, I thought maybe a seatbelt would be a good option. So I bought one from Princess Auto, of course. Um, it's a five point safety harness. It uh, just clips in, spin that to loosen everything off. Works beautifully. Just some simple mounts. The second most commonly asked question is how big are my sprocket sizes and what my gear ratio is. So we have the beautiful side of the engine here. It, there's my centrifugal clutch, $50 at Princess Auto of course, plug for them. So it goes from the 32 tooth sprocket to the 20 tooth sprocket, almost forgot. And finally, to the 60 tooth sprocket for a ratio of about eight or nine to one. This is my axle. It's a three quarter inch round cold rolled spring steel. So it doesn't bend. My first axle, I took it off a big jump with no suspension. And it bent the axle so it was like a big massage chair going down the road. So here we have the hub assembly, and this part I made myself. Cut, welded it together. Got some nice dirt in there. Um, put it on the lathe so it fit inside the wheel well here. So that's all made by me. And this is what the other side looks like. Also, these tires, turf saver, nothing but the best. Made in America. Uh, just your regular lawn tractor tires that you just find in your backyard if you have a fancy ride-on mower. Um, or if you go to Princess Auto, pick one up. Okay, well that about does it for this walk around of my go-kart. Um, so yeah, just leave your feedback and I hope that you've had a good time watching this video. Look at that little guy. And I'm standing in an anthill.